Hey guys, it's Paula. Today's video is going to be my May favorites and I don't have anything like remarkable this month, but this is a tradition. So here is my May favorites video for you. The first and only beauty favorite that I have for this month is a couple of brushes that I've been using for my makeup. So I have been loving this foundation brush and this concealer brush. Um, sorry, they're dirty. Wow, it looks really bad on camera. Okay. Normally for my foundation, I use a big brush like this. Um, this used to be like a full-sized brush and then it broke, so I just use it like this now. Um, but these are all from e.l.f. what I'm showing today, and I just used to use a big one for like surface area, get as much as I could, you know? But I have been shifting to this e.l.f. angled foundation brush. Um, it just gives you a lot more precision, which I didn't know a smaller brush could do. I mean, that makes sense saying it now. But it's much easier to really like focus in on the areas that you're trying to cover up and get like in your nose and like, not in your nose. <laughs> Oh my god. But it's just much easier to like cover the area that you're trying to without like looking cakey in other areas. So I've just been liking this a lot. I haven't used it in years and then I started using it again so that's good. And then the second brush that I have been loving is the e.l.f. concealer brush. Very simple. When I apply concealer I usually use my finger just because it's easy and you don't have to dirty up a brush. Uh, but then I realize like how many germs I'm probably spreading using my fingers. So once again I realized that using a brush um, you can really just like target where the concealer is going. I've been loving these. They're really cheap. Don't know how much, but like they're cheap brushes, so I'd recommend them. My next favorite um, is two favorites. It's a couple of mobile games, and I know when people start talking about mobile games, it's like, oh my god, this video is sponsored, but I am not sponsored, like, ever. So this is not sponsored, but I have just been playing these games a lot, and I'm a little addicted. They're by the same, um, like, brand, I guess you could say. One of them is Hollywood You, and the other is High School Story. You guys are gonna laugh at me. Basically, it's just like a little um, simulation game, I guess you could say, and like in one of them you're at a high school and like you're trying to like get different friends and like, <laughs> sounds really dumb, and in the other one you go to like a Hollywood university and you like, I'm trying to be a director, some of my friends are movie stars and fashionistas and things like that. <laughs> Literally, I was trying to think of TV shows this month to tell you guys about and then I realized, oh, I haven't been watching TV. I have been playing these mobile games nonstop. If you're really bored this summer like me and you just want to like waste a lot of time on your phone, then they're really fun to play. They're good for just like passing time, you know, in the car, waiting at the doctor, just take out your high school story app and have a good time. Okay, now I'm going to talk about music because I can talk about music forever. So, my first song I've been loving this month is After Gold by Big Wild and Tove Sturk. It is a really, really fun, catchy song. Just like, really reminds me of summer. I like it a lot. Obviously, I'm going to link everything down below, so go listen to it. It is just so super duper catchy. My second favorite, Honest to God. I listen to this song way too many times a day and I don't even know why. I don't know why. It's by Hunter Hayes and it's called Tattoo. You probably know it. I'm not a huge country music person, but like some songs when they're in my head, I just love them and I listen to them nonstop. Especially during the summer, I just feel like, oh, you gotta listen to some country music sometimes. Like, honestly, I used to hate it and now I'm like sort of being okay with it. But Hunter Hayes I'm like really okay with because he's really cute and he has good music. So Tattoo was one of my favorite songs. I could just listen to it 10 times in a row on repeat. I don't know why. And my last favorite for this video is the Dangerous Woman album by Ariana Grande. Duh. Like duh. I love everything that she does but I especially love this album. Oh my god. Honestly like right when she first put it out I listened to it and I couldn't stop listening to it and I still can't stop listening to it because it's fairly recent. So I have been loving that. I think some of my favorite songs are Greedy, for sure. Oh my god, if you're gonna go listen to one, go listen to Greedy. Best song ever. Yep. Also, Bad Decisions is a good one, and I really like Into You and Let Me Love You. Those are like, I think she might have released those as singles. I don't know, but you might have heard some of them. They are so good. The whole album is so good. I, I want to be Ariana Grande. Can we be real? And that was it for my May favorites video. I don't think I've ever had like this little amount of things to talk about in a video. Oops. But May was really just like, like a month that happened and now it's over. If you guys liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave some comments down below, and subscribe so you don't miss any videos from me. And with the start of June, I am going to be vlogging every single day, just like I did last year. So this is gonna be very exciting. 
hopefully, I mean, I'm like living at home and not much is going on right now, but I'm still going to vlog and hopefully make things interesting. So make sure you subscribe so you see when I start to upload all of my two summer vlogs. I'm very excited about it. And my birthday's next month and I'm very much excited for the future. Okay. <sighs> I will see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye.